We're talking about, you know, the, how things have changed since you guys in the 80s or in the 90s. Or, uh, what, what, when did you notice the change in how, how this business started treating the actors and how difficult it became now, especially? Oh, I, no, I actually think... I don't, I mean, I think that if it's become difficult for actors over the decades, it's because a function of um, maybe getting older for women. Yeah. There are yeah. less roles. But I don't think the business has gotten worse towards actors or anything. I do think that in the 90s, um, it be there became fewer middle class actors. There were the big, big stars. And then there were the, uh, everybody else who, was, who would earn scale. And this happened in the 90s when the film started paying like Sylvester Stallone and Bruce Willis like and Tom Cruise like millions and millions and they would basically say you know we've we've basically spent all our money on the one big star so you know if you don't want this scale then sorry we'll just find somebody else so that that was a big change in the 90s but otherwise no i i think i've, I've always felt well treated okay oh yeah i mean i feel very fortunate extremely fortunate here in Hollywood. I mean, I've worked for 30 years, earned a living for over 30 years, so I'm very lucky. Yeah, well, so you're I'm also nothing, very good, um, though. Well, thank you. Mostly. But um, <laughs> So, yeah, but it is a different animal, but in a good way, in that um, there's more product, mm -hmm. and there's more ability for people to make their own product. Now, when I came in the 80s, I wouldn't, it never even occurred to me to make my own product. But now, actors coming in, they realized they could make their own product yeah. and star in it themselves. So that's actually good. So we got to talk about Christine because that's what we're here celebrating, the Lethal Ladies. Christine, you're a little nicer. You're pretty nice in this movie. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know I Dolly. am. But She's oh. way too nice, man. If I played her now, I'd be much tougher, <laughs> believe me. That movie was my... It was my second feat. It was my second time in front of the camera professionally. Okay. You know, so I was very, very new. I was 19. Oh, wow. What, yeah. what were your thoughts? Were you like a Stephen King fan? I was terrified, for one, getting cast in, as a lead in, in, a, in a movie. I didn't really recognize, I didn't understand that John Carpenter was such an icon because I hadn't oh. seen a lot of feature films growing up, and, so I, and it's certainly not horror films. I did read Christine after I got the part, but I had not read Stephen King before I got the part because he was scary, and I was, you know, a wimpy little girl. <laughs> Um, I, re I love the book, Christine. I'm a big Stephen King fan now. He wrote one of my favorite books. John Carpenter is amazing. So I really was, I learned quickly. What was it like working with us? Yeah, he's one of the most iconic directors ever, especially in this genre. What was special about him? Well, you know, he's a really good director. I really was spoiled being directed by him. He worked a lot with Keith, more with Keith, because Keith had to go through a transformation Mm -hmm. And because you shoot a movie out of order, it got very complicated. Like, where was Keith in his transformation from Arnie the nerd to Arnie the cool cat? And so that was very complicated. And so there was a lot of discussion between them. Uh, with me, um, I was so such an emotional actress, so emotional and so fragile. John, um, John didn't really, he told me later he didn't really know what to do with me. Like he really? was, well, there was one incident where I was supposed to cry in a scene and I couldn't cry. And so uh, John takes me off to his bus to talk to me. And of course, I immediately start crying, of course, right? Of course. And, um, and I say to him ah, in tears, I don't know why you cast me. I, don't, I think you cast me because you felt sorry for me. And he looked shocked. He's like, his eyes got big and he got kind of mad. He goes, you think I would cast my lead woman in this $8 million picture, which was a lot then, yeah, right? Really. Uh, because I felt sorry for her. And I'm like, yeah, because I always thought the lead should be um, like Kelly Preston, who was also in the film. Like she should have been the lead because he's so beautiful and blonde and curvaceous. And here I was this gawky brunette and too tall and all that stuff. So he told me later that he was completely like, freaked out about this little puddle of tears, this teenager crying in his trailer, which is actually a bus, yeah. um, you know, uh, poor John.